quarter inches, right around three and a quarter inches. short course truck. This is off the Red Cat Terramoto. So I want to try to figure out how to how to get this mounted here now. And uh, I'm going to trim th trim this down here. These two holes line up perfectly with those two holes, but I but it's a little bit wide right now. So I got to cut that back a little bit there, cut that back a little bit there. So mainly the part that I want I'm going to have to cut this up, is these two plastic arms right here. Shoot for something like that. Maybe a little tighter. I'm trying to do this whole thing with stuff that I have on hand without spending. Alright, to get this mounted, um, this wouldn't line up with anything, so I had to make this aluminum piece here. Because the shock tower actually leans back. The shock tower is sitting like that, and I needed it more level. So I put a couple nuts in behind here to kick this piece forward so I can line this up. This is a cross brace uh, from the Savage Flux. I believe I got this from CK Crawlers a long time ago. Anyways, I tap and drilled two holes here, or drilled and tapped two holes here, and then drilled and tapped two holes there. And that's how I got this to mount up to this. Trying to make a template for uh, just this area, not covering this, this, or this. Got this uh, off of a microwave that was uh, that went out on its last summer. So I'm gonna cut some, try to cut some panels out of it. This area gets covered, and it comes into the into this area. And then down to here. This bar right here represents the front, and I'm leaving. I'm gonna cut it a little long because I don't know how much uh, material it's gonna take when I wrap it over the front. Okay, that was the easy part, um, cutting the template out for the cardboard. The hard part's gonna be cutting the tin because all I got is I got a jigsaw. I got to mount the jigsaw. Clamp this onto the handle on the jigsaw. one down. 